morning, it's Tuesday, May 7th, about 6 a.m. Central Time. All right, the precious metals are continuing to take a breather after yesterday's explosive rally. Yesterday, we saw traders position for a more dovish tilt from the Fed as the U.S. dollar and two-year treasury yields continued to correct. Geopolitical tensions rose as Israel was set to invade Rafa, while Russia announced the beginning of exercises involving tactical nuclear weapons. That's a lot right there. Surprised that crude oil wasn't higher and honestly, a little bit disappointed actually in the action with the gold market. If, uh, if you're getting that type of verbiage out of Russia, you would have thought that gold would have been at like 2350 or above. Now stocks continue to build gains here after Friday's rally and it was more broad based. All 11 sectors of the S&P 500 close higher and the index added 1%. The S&P remains above the key pocket support 5150 down to about 5130 I outlined and I also outlined if we stay above that level yesterday we'll most likely shoot back up to 5200 and even 5211 which that target on the upside was achieved in the early hours overnight. So today's key pivot in support level for the S&P 500 5190 down to 58186 that aligns also with the 50 day moving average. A break below this level should move the market back down to 5150 to 5130 that pocket support once again crude oil prices are sliding a bit here after finding that small support on those rising geopolitical tensions they are giving up a lot of their gains in the overnight sector and the bears continue to have slight control a break above 7950 should open the door higher for another move to 80 dollars now if you're trading the gold and silver market and you're looking for some small clues as far as geopolitical political tension drives you should also have crude oil on your screen it's one of the markets that I watch the most in also with the S&P 500 and gold and silver now a break below the 79 level which we are right now should threaten and open a move down to about 7790 now shifting back to gold and silver we are going to have one Fed official here speak today Neil Kashkari he's the only one that's out there and there's not a lot of economic data on the docket from an intermediate term perspective both gold and silver remain more in a neutral trend in my opinion leaving the trend followers on the sideline this Despite that blow explosive move higher, it's going to take a break above 2351 on the gold market to start to threaten the 2400 and the all time highs. As long as we stay below that level, it's going to be a back and forth trading affair. You're going to see traders position where they try and buy closer to 2300 and slightly below there, and then they're going to sell that position out. Remember, many of these people are just in it for the action, they don't care about the underlying asset class whatsoever they just want to make money in any kind of trading affair whether it's nvidia the s p the nasdaq bitcoin doesn't matter whatsoever now if you look at that key level of support if we do come down to the 2280 level it's going to be more pocket support to the 50-day moving average at 2264 the average true range on gold and this is why i say it's a trading affair is about 40 dollars right now while the stochastics rise from oversold territory giving us a back move to the upside within this channel now the chart is silver looks a bit more constructive than gold and we saw the gold silver ratio drop from about 86 1 to 1 down to 84 to 1 you've got 2793 as your first breakout point so if you've got a chart lying in the sand here for where all these chasers will come in I believe is 2793 you know and after you get yesterday's move higher the the dollar move higher the support is going to be a lot lower remember the average range on silver is about 81 cents right now so if they start to break down they could pull the pull the rug on it quite quickly so your first critical level support quite deep 2639 and that corresponds with the 50-day moving average I'll be on the Schwab network here in about 45 minutes 7 15 central time so if you tune in that check that out I'll be talking with Ben Lichtenstein and we'll be rattling about some of the uh, the currency markets gold silver etc so you got any questions give us a call we'd love to work with you over here 312-858-7303 remember futures and option trading does involve risk of loss may not be suitable to all investors good luck good trading